and you know, he got tapped out and he even said yesterday, yeah, I'm not going to be contributing anymore at this point. You know, I'm tapped out. And we still hit the goal on the first stream, which is out. absolutely amazing. All right. But then finally last night as we were playing Oblivion, it finally cooled down. Still had a great stream. We still had good attendance, good engagement. You know, no more, Phil. I'm tapping out, dude. I'm tapping out, Phil. Come on. No <clears> more, <throat> dude. No but the more. tips finally calmed down. And uh, we did not hit any of the goals of the tips last night, which is perfectly fine. And finally, the streak came to an end. So now the good thing is, you know, thank you. Because uh, here's the thing. There's people who always want to be up in my personal business. And immediately when this streak started, oh, my God, where's all that money going and what's this going? First of all, it's no one's business. Absolutely no one's business whatsoever where any money goes that I make on this stream. All right? I could be spending it for great things. I could be spending it for frivolous things. I could be donating it to charity or I could be fronting it to a drug ring out in Brazil. It's none of anyone's business. It doesn't matter. Uh, and you have no right to ask what well, anyone does with any money that they make on a stream. Well, it's none of your fucking business. So even by asking that, you're breaking the rules of the stream. And if I see people talking about that kind of crap in my chat, you will receive a permanent ban. Just so you know. It's none of your business whatsoever. Now, <clears throat> some people have already started to say things like it's well, official we'll phil buy a new pc and we'll phil do this and we'll phil do that all right i'll give you a little bit of transparency as much as i can without essentially getting too personal all right the good news is i now have a little bit of a surplus because this has been you know a week and a half essentially of over the top support i hope so by the way on my normal streams i would still get good support but this is just above and beyond that okay so I have a little bit of a surplus. Already, I can tell you, I put some of that towards monthly bills where I paid forward a little bit more on some bills um, to kind of clear me and get me a little bit in a better position. All right? So that's number one. That, that Already, some of it's gone, gone to very important things. I do have a little bit of a surplus that I'm purposefully saving. That way, if something happens, let's say, for example, oh my God, there's uh, my car breaks down or a piece of equipment breaks or something goes wrong and I need some money to do something, I have it. That is the pitfall of having basically little to no credit is, you know, having a bankruptcy many years ago that, you know, I don't have the same abilities as everybody else. You know, I don't have just money to charge or spend on a whim, but now I'll have a little bit of extra, which is nice. It's nice to have that flexibility. This will also take a little bit of pressure off of the next several months when I'm gonna start buying lots of new games and everything. It won't be really a concern that I have to invest that money back into the business because I have that flexibility. But the truth is, You're sick. I don't need to be telling you this. I really don't. It's Again, it's literally none of anyone's business what any content creator or streamer does with money that they've raised. It's just that people on the internet are scumbags to me. They've made so many things up about me and said so many nonsensical things about me that are complete bullshit or based again on a nugget of truth that they turn into an insane conspiracy with no factual substantiation that yes. people will literally question every little thing I do. Like for example, if today I was going to play Zelda and I picked up my controller and you noticed it's a white controller, people would be like, wait a minute, what's that? He didn't have that controller before. He had a black pro controller. Why is he playing with a white controller? Where did he get it from? How much was it? Where was the money spent? You see what I mean? It's insane. These people are fucking nuts. That's not normal behavior. That's obsessive behavior in a very toxic way. And this is what I deal with every day of my life. So please understand, that's why I don't reveal more about my personal life. That's why I don't do house tours. That's why I don't do all this shit. These people are actually crazy and have latched themselves onto me in a very negative way in order to propagate that crazy conspiracy and toxicity. Okay? So, absolutely not. I'm not telling you everything I'm doing with anything that I raised there in that, that week, week and a half of amazing support. But, um, you know, was it enough to completely change my life? No. This is a week and a half of a little bit of extra support every day, essentially, which is nice and will help in the long term. But it's certainly not something that's, oh my God, it blew me. Now it feels completely good forever. No, that's not the case. You know, just like anything. I'm going to stream every day and I'm going to have goals and I'm going to hope to hit those goals. And if I don't hit them, yeah, if I don't hit them several days in a row, it hurts. It hurts to not be raising the goals that you've set for your business. You know, there's an established amount that I look to make every day or two because that's essentially what I need to do things like do the necessities, pay the bills and everything, right? So, yeah. And it's funny because then people are like, oh, you see, so he's been so good that he doesn't need any support forever. Like, you're an asshole. Like, how do you not understand how life works, right? That's like saying you were walking down the street, you found a $100 bill, 
So now you don't need to get paid for the next two weeks of work when you go to work. Like, what? Well, I mean, it depends on how much it's you, just stupid talk. you find. Anyway, so um, the streak is done for now. Will so, we ever have another streak? Perhaps. These things come and go. I'm incredibly grateful to Jinx for getting it started, to everyone else who contributed in any way during this streak. Thank you so very much. I hope those of you, because a ton of gifted memberships came out of this. We started in the low 500s. I feel like it's a little different, Phil, when you're a... Uh, when you put yourself out there and you're a public figure and you rely solely on um, tips. Like, you rely solely on people, like, um, giving you money, like, on a personal one-to-one -one level. So it's not like a job, oh, oh, they pay you your paycheck every two weeks, you know. These people are giving you their money. They're, they're hanging out with you every day for eight hours, and they want to see progress. They want to, they don't want to see you waste it all, you know. So I think they deserve to know some, that the money is at least, you know, being used for something productive and not just you being a fucking idiot like you always are. Of memberships a right, week and a half I'm done. ago. I'm done and on now that we're topic. Up to 780. I mean, we were over 800 and then about 25, 30 expired overnight. Um, so that's what I mean. Like, a lot of people have benefited from this, and that's a great thing. I hope you all enjoy your gifted memberships. In particular, when Street Fighter 6 comes out, it's going to be pretty hype to have the the, uh, the membership enabled here. You know what I mean? So, Throat Goat Linda. Thank you so much for that. Yes. And now let's move forward positively. And uh, thank you, Jinx, and everyone else. But thank you, particularly Jinx, who got that started and continued that for quite some time that this week was a very calm one even though people again they try to come in they try to cause problems didn't work great great drama free no nonsense let's relax let's have games let's have a good interactive time style vibes here which is exactly what i want on my channel i wouldn't have it any other way thank you for those who are supporting that of course every day you get people coming in who are stupid idiots and they, they try to derail everything or whatever and i just do my best to try to ignore that nonsense uh you know, and that's what we do. That's what we do here on the channel. It's not about everyone from the outside trying to derail with a bunch of their, their kitty bullshit. That's what we do, guys. We're having good times with games and chill vibes and great interaction. And we ignore nonsense. Discussion and me petting Jasper Kitty, who has shown up. So yesterday, Jasper Kitty. Oh, he doesn't want to be held. Look at that. I got you. What are you doing? What are you kicking for? He, he doesn't like being held like that. Let's no, he, he doesn't. You don't like, know how... How dare you? He likes being the traditional way to hold a cat... You, is you put your one arm under their front legs oh or, or their God, front, dude. you know, arms, and then you put another arm under their butt. So it's almost like you're like swaddling them in your arms. That's the the proper way to hold a cat. And he loves that, right, then, Jasper? Then why did and you? He also loves when cat picks him up. Then why did you pick him up like that? Him over her shoulder like this and like pet him like this. He loves that. But you know how to hold but if a you cat. You try to but... pick him up to show him off. Oh, he hates that. <laughs> You no, know, there's no you, Lion King why would you do it? presentation to the people down underneath the cliff. You can't do that with Jasper. He'll get very upset with you. You're like, how dare you do that to me? So anyway, um, <clears throat> so uh, Jasper, will you be in here the whole day or are you going to be in and out? What do you think? I was going to give a demonstration on how to properly mm -hmm. hold a cat, but Blue's... Oh, that's right. He can't talk. He's he's doing his own thing. I, I don't get sometimes. I, don't I mean, he does talk to me, but he mouths. And, I don't you know, force him to do things. Say, Oh, he's gonna start chewing wires already. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're not gonna Hey, there he is. Hey, buddy. Already. You're gonna get you're gonna get me upset. You're gonna get me upset. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so anyway, he'll be in and out here. Um cool. Now, let us uh let's talk. First of all, it is official. The support streak of twenty straight streams ended last night. I'm not surprised. With the insane amount of support that came out during the Fight and Feast Marathon on Sunday, it was definitely going to be ending at some point soon. And what's funny about that is, yesterday, on the it's main gameplay boy. stream, Jesus. which was Star Wars, it continued, and it had nothing to do with Jinx. You gotta love idiots like this troll right here who says, Oh yeah, Phil, Phil's fans plan all his events, he's got it easy. Yes, because taking feedback from your audience so that you're doing things your audience wants is obviously a horrible idea, right? No one's ever heard of market research. No one's ever heard of constructive criticism or constructive input. That doesn't exist, right? Like, what a jackass. Another way to help out would be a super chat or a super sticker. These are ways to su support through YouTube itself. You get a nice pop-up on the screen if you do those, and I'll give it a shout-out. Memberships. Super important to the channel. They help this channel in the long run. 
But also, you guys get benefits, obviously, if you get a membership, right? You get emotes. You don't have to abide by slow, slow mode rules in the chat. You get a cool chat crown badge to show that you're a supporter. Some people just earn their two-year anniversary, which is the rose gold crown, which is really, really neat. Hey, that's um, pretty cool. Excuse me. Outside of that, many other benefits, too. So please consider becoming a member, or if you're someone who wants to support the channel and the community as a whole, you can gift memberships to the community. And today, with Zelda, we'll probably have pretty good attendance on the stream. So today would be a great time to maybe give some memberships. People, I'm sure, would be very appreciative if they got some. By the way, if you're interested in getting a gift gifted membership, type exclamation point gift into the chat. A link should pop up. You click on it, and it should give you the option to enable a gifted membership on your account if you're eligible. Some people are not due to region and other rules on YouTube. Um, also, tipping. Now, tipping, huge way to support the stream. Tips are something that are great because I get a lot out of tips as opposed to other methods of contribution where chunks get taken out. Tipping, I get the most amount of. And in addition, I get tips right away. Because tips are a very important part of my business, uh, we have tiered rewards. Raise 50 bucks in tips, I put on gunner glasses. Raise $100 in tips, I'll put on a hat of your choice out of the ridiculous amounts of hats we have in my closet repertoire now. And of course, if we happen to hit the full tips goal of 150 bucks today, you choose a silly vest for me to wear as well. Um, so thanks in advance for any kind of a contribution and for supporting DSP Gaming and allowing me to do what I truly love for a living. Okay? Cool. By the way, I'm, I'm deleting a disgusting account whose name is a sexual innuendo. Why doesn't he sell shirts? Like I said, maybe eventually if someone had some ideas what? about new designs and things for shirts and if someone knew of a company <laughs> that would allow me to sell my products and the company isn't a bunch of woke idiots <laughs> who are going to listen to people saying that like shit I said 10 years ago is something that I do today and then they'll shut down my shop because that's what happened with Teespring which then became Spring. So over the course of me working with Teespring, they started, they were a very reasonable company at the beginning. And then what happened is they changed their leadership, they changed their whole culture to be this woke company. And then what ended up happening was my haters actually s sent them clips of me like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, saying things. Look, Phil's a racist, Phil's a sexist, Phil's this, Phil's that. And they're, they're idiots and they believed it. Now keep in mind, I had my Teespring for five years while all that stuff was on the internet and they didn't care. But they had a shift in management and philosophy, and then they decide out of nowhere to shut down my shop. Even though my shop has absolutely nothing on it whatsoever that violates their terms of service, they just shut it down. It was the same time when they were getting me kicked off of Twitch, when they were getting me kicked out of um, other services and things. They did it to everyone all at once, all right? So I've purposefully stayed away from doing any merch because I just wanted things to kind of calm down. At this point now, I've gotten rid of all my old branding and stuff that could be construed to be something bad, you know? And now I just want to be me and do fun, positive content for you guys and, and kind of get rid of all those old bad associations that people always made with my name. Um, but the question is, is there going to be a company out there that's going to give me a fair shake or am I going to create a cool product line of products, start selling it, and then within two weeks of me doing that, my haters message the company and they're, they're idiotic and they believe everything they say and then they kick me off again. So there's no point if that's the case. I don't want to waste my time. You see? Well, it sucks that you... So let me know. Uh, you know, if you guys have any ideas of places that do this kind of stuff, merch or whatever, that if you know if they're legit, I, you know, let me know. They did. Because someone says, companies should do research before they do a partnership. They did. Teespring, listen to this. Teespring reached out to me <laughs> in 2017 when I was becoming a full-time streamer and I announced to everyone I was going to become a full-time streamer. I'm not kidding you. Teespring contacted me to sell my merch and they worked with me to, to make my first product line they designed the whole first no. slew of shirts that i ever sold on the site they, they so they knew who i was they knew about all of my content they sent all you, of it they sent you a generic email and then within five years decided oh we don't want to be with this guy anymore and kick me off the site with no notification no discussion again internally they had a, a weird culture shift where anyone who i guess is deemed as problematic on the internet should not be on spring <laughs> Well, guess and what? I didn't do anything wrong. In fact, in the five years that I was on Spring or Teespring, I actually got better as a person and a content creator, but they decided the things that I had done 10, 15 years in the past were so egregious that I couldn't be on their site anymore, despite the fact they had sold my products for five years. I agree. I mean, you want to talk about a ba ass backwards, stupid as fuck company? That's Spring in a nutshell. No. You can't even make it up. No. That's how bad their philosophy and how they're run. I mean, what a, a bunch of idiots. No, they're, so, they're doing shit I, right, I don't want to deal with a company like that. They're doing shit right. 
Like I said, I want to yeah. build a company that <laughs> yeah. is going to be fair. They're doing it right, though. It's not going to be stupid as shit. And just on a knee-jerk reaction because a couple trolls send them some bullshit that they just believe everything and they kick me out. It's too much work and effort to have logos and everything drawn up and made and designing the merch and putting all that work into it and then they take it all away for no reason. I'm not going to waste my time on that. So yeah, they, if they, anyone has ideas, I need to know what ideas you would have for a place that would sell that kind of stuff, okay? In most cases, you play a game on PC with good hardware, you're going to get an optimal gaming experience out of that. But it's accessibility. T today, people want instant gratification. They don't want a bunch of fucking work to get their fun. Keep in mind, video games are supposed to be fun. Video games are supposed to be entertainment and unwinding from your real life. Now, I'm already stressed the fuck out for my real life. I come home to play a game and I gotta fuck with my PC now to get the game to work. It's, I just wanna fucking sit, go home and plop down on my couch, pick up this controller, and play a game for an hour or two. This is what people want today. Why do you think this is so prominent? You don't even need this. It's already in your hand. It's your fucking phone. And now you can play it on here. You see? That's what it's all about. Wait, what is it all about? Jasper Kitty, where'd you come from? Stalt Network. What? Are you saying it's a mobile game? It's oh, a mobile oh game God. that's near Automata, but it's its own unique storyline? I mean, don't give him I don't a new... know how on earth that would work. Don't give him a new mobile game. Come on. If you have more information on that, perhaps I would consider you know looking into it. But uh oh. No, he's interested. That certainly sounds like a weird one to me. He's interested. You got his attention with mobile. You said mobile game. He's like, huh? Mobile sure. games? Somebody say mobile games? Okay. Instantly hooked with mobile. As soon as you say mobile game, he's like, what? Sign me up. Do I think hardcore gamers play mobile games? Yeah, but I think that they would play them for different reasons. No. Like I said, mobile games no. are not necessarily games. Yeah, hardcore gambling addicts, a dude. crazy, interesting, long, you know, stringing narrative, real great character development, yeah. or even, honestly, any kind of complex gameplay elements. You mobile to, games are yeah. meant to be games. You sit down. For gambling addicts. You can jump right into them. <laughs> you can play them right off the bat. They're easy to play. They're addictive. They're simple but fun. But they have an element where you have to spend to keep playing or winning. That's how they become addictive, and that's how people keep getting caught into that vicious cycle of spend, spend, spend on them. So, so why do you still do it? Yeah, like, I, I could see, if you're a hardcore gamer, you play so why do you console still do game, it, your PC game, that's your core gaming experience. Why are you... But then, when you're just looking to relax, and like I said, when I when I used to play uh, mobile games, and I do still play you... mobile games today, just Wait. not to the extent I used to. Used to, but used you to still do? What? I've been doing, I was doing other stuff. Which one? So I'd be watching a movie. Well, you do or you don't? But I've also have... A mobile game out that I'd be playing while I played the movie, so it's kind of like double what? use of your time. You're like multitasking, right? Like that seems to be like the biggest thing. Uh, you know, actually focusing on the game fully might not be even what? a thing that a lot of people do. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing. If you're going to be playing a real game, if I'm playing God of War Ragnarok, if I'm playing uh, Zelda, right? What? I want to be giving what? that my attention, what? right? As opposed to a mobile game, you're just tapping away while you're doing other shit. That's what. That's the way I see it, anyway. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> uh, I never played Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. No, I have not. Hey, you Phil. Funny you mess around with Phil Burnell, right? Oh, it's real funny to do these horrible things to him because it's just a joke. No, it's not a joke. It's my life. Not Phil Burnell. Shill Burnell. Shill Burnell. The reason we do it is because Phil begs. Wrong. The reason they do it is because they want to see me suffer. That's right. Why does the character say you're you're a pig roach? You don't look like a pig or a roach. I don't know. I don't know what that means. That's one of their memes. I don't actually know what it means at all. Piggy Smalls took me a dollar. Says own the pig meme like others. Pigs rise up. Oh my god. Here we go again. Another stupid meme. <laughs> Another stupid meme that means nothing.